God's Word Online Sound Doctrine The Foundation of the Elementary Teachings of Christ The Foundation of the Elementary Teachings of Christ Matthew 28 verses 16 to 18 Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Continued Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Mark 16 verses 15 to 16 And he said to them, Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Acts 2 verse 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. John 3 verse 5 Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Acts 8 verses 36 to 39 And as they were going along the road they came to some water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What prevents me from being baptized? And he commanded the chariot to stop, and they both went down into the water, Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. Acts 10 verses 44 to 46 While Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell on all who heard the word. And the believers from among the circumcised who had come with Peter were amazed because the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out even on the Gentiles. For they were hearing them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Acts 16 verses 14 to 15 One who heard us was a woman named Lydia, from the city of Thyatira, a seller of purple goods, who was a worshipper of God. The Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by Paul. And after she was baptized, and her household as well, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. And she prevailed upon us. Acts 16 verses 27 to 34 When the jailer woke and saw that the prison doors were open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, supposing that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul cried with a loud voice, Do not harm yourself, for we are all here. And the jailer called for lights and rushed in, and trembling with fear he fell down before Paul and Silas. Continued Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. Continued. Then Continued. he brought them out and said, Sirs, and he took them the same hour of the night saved. and washed their wounds, and, and he was they baptized said, Believe in the Lord he and Jesus, all his family, and you will be saved. Then you he brought them up into his house and said, And they spoke the them. word of the Lord to him and, and he to rejoiced all who were along in his with house. his entire household that he had believed in God. Acts 18 verse 8. Crispus, the ruler of the synagogue, believed in the Lord, together with his entire household. And many of the Corinthians hearing Paul believed and were baptized. Romans 6 verses 3 to 4 Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. 
1 Corinthians 12 verse 13. For by one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one Spirit. Galatians 3 verses 26 to 27. For in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God, through faith. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. Ephesians 4 verses 4 to 5. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Colossians 2 verses 11 to 12. In him also you were circumcised with a circumcision made without hands, by putting off the body of the flesh, by the circumcision of Christ, having been buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the powerful working of God, who raised him from the dead. 1 Peter 3 verses 21 to 22. Baptism, which corresponds to this, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body but as an appeal to God for a good conscience, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities, and powers having been subjected to him. Acts 22 verse 16 And now why do you wait? Rise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on his name. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please share it with your friends.